Well, I went out of state sailing today and picked up some gnats and shoes. This is what would have came in this box originally. Would have been a, I guess, a size 10. Look at that there. Originally, these shoes would have originally been at Silverman. I don't have, I'm looking at it kind of crooked. But it would have been $26 for these shoes, boots I should say. But that's not what I bought at an estate sale. That's what I bought. So I got this box and look at this old Girl Scout cookie box full of uh, lights too. They're the old vintage. That's a twinkling D27. They're all the old style bulbs, every one of them. So let's uh, see what works and what doesn't. Looks like we're going to have to untape a plug here. We got them taped together. Well, I can plug in, take that back. And let's see, this newspaper is. It's the Daily Tribune at Royal Oak, Michigan, and it's Friday, December 15th, 1972. Oh, quite a few bulbs in here. All right, state legislature okays bingo. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to turn that light off and plug them in. I think that bulb's bad because it's... But it looks like a majority of them illuminate. Got a green out. Oh, that's a blinker. Check it out. Another one of the old opaque blinker. That's so cool. These, these old style blinkers are getting harder and harder to find, so it's kind of neat when I do find them. This bulb was not illuminated, and we'll try it in a different... Try these ones that aren't illuminated in a different socket, because that's a different light set that looks a little more weathered. And uh, see if they illuminate or not before I throw them away. No, nope, no good. No good. Okay, so those looks like those are and there's a red here that's out. See how that illuminated? So that just tells me oh and there's another another old school blinker. So we got two of them. Wonder how many more there are in here that blink like that. I think I'll leave them plugged in for a moment because they often need to get warmed up. Maybe that red's a, or the red's bad. It was kind of bright. I think the red's bad. Put the green back in. So there we go. And we got two inside paint ceramic coated blinkers on and the string and looks like one two three four maybe five um these transparent ged 27s that are blinkers like like this did pretty good let me uh you can see the little G logo there, but that's pretty good. Finding some some rare bulbs. I have, I don't know, maybe I probably have about a hundred of those. The inside paint blinkers that I've found over the years and old light strings from state sales and garage shells. Let's get the ones out of the Girl Scout cookies box and have a quickie look at it. All right, trying to fit them back in the box. I took this. This is like real electrical tape. This is the good stuff. And 
they had them taped around the plugs but that says it probably won't show but it says paramount uses 125 volt fuses so this plug would have a uh, fuses in it you probably take out that little screw to get that out and the fuse is probably up in there it says paramount number 100 well I couldn't resist filming or videoing this that is Richard Nixon it says J Willard Marriott Wright chairman of inaugural committee presents Nixon with the first inaugural license plate Thursday at the White House in Washington DC so there we go and uh, being Christmas time you know there's a stereo receiver 169.95 it's I'll just kind of so if somebody's interested in this kind of stuff I find it fascinating Marantz 30 watt unit 199.95 and uh, might as well do this too <laughs> and I gotta put this in this video too and maybe I'll put this little bit in the end of another video because it's interesting maybe a car video but it says money refunded for bad car and hopefully you can read it and pause it it's about a 1971 opal station wagon that Joyce Green bought to put or I'm sorry the judge was Joyce Green and uh Anyway, she wanted air conditioning installed, and she took it to Sears, and nothing worked, and cars didn't come with factory air. And uh, so, I'll let you read it. Kind of made the judge ordered Buick or GM, I guess, by the 71 Opel back. So, there we go. Well, if you want to know what the TV lineup was for December 15th, 1972, which was a Friday... Here we go, 6 p.m. We'll just slowly pan down, and again, you can pause it if you want to really read it. Hopefully it shows up in the um, you know, to where you can read it in the video. All right, there we go. I should just do videos on the old newspapers I find from th packaging and estate sales. So this is kind of interesting too, and hopefully it is legible. And I'll try. And... and then, well, let's see what we got in this box. Some more old newspaper separating. Some of the wiring. I see the male end of the plug down in the bottom of the box. So let me carefully set these down here. And get this out and we'll see what happens when we plug it in. And we got most of them illuminated. That one's not illuminated, but check it out. Pretty cool. We got some D27 blinker, D27 blinker. I can see the writing on them. Um, all right, let's try these ones out. These ones don't have any tags for you all. They look like maybe probably they're from, well, it does have some writing on the red in the socket there. I can't really, really super tiny writing. Patent pending. I can't see anything else, but I would guess these are probably from the late 60s early 70s also and they illuminate too this is the greens from that set so all these bulbs worked all those bulbs worked see how many of these blink 
looks like there's a couple D27 GEs. See if any of the opaque ones start blinking too. But looks like we got two 25 light sets here, a 25 over there, and two 15s. There's a little bimetal spring that carries a current that hits uh, the little robot arm in there for the filament. And when it makes contact, it heats up from the current flow, and then when it gets to a certain temperature, it just bends and breaks the circuit. And as it cools, it goes back and hits and makes the circuit gets hot again, bends and releases it. So that's why they have to warm up a minute or so. This is a different section of the same Friday, December 15th, 1972 newspaper. And again, just pause it if you want to um, see what these things are. I remember these big old Hunkin' console TVs. We had one in our family room when I was a kid growing up. Well, that new 1973 Chroma Color. Color, the first color television I remember was my friend Robertson's, Dave Robertson's folks. I think it was a Delco and it was a color TV and I think it was the first color television in the neighborhood. And when we were kids, we used to go over there and watch this show called Emergency. It was broadcast in living color. And uh, our TV was black and white, so it was kind of neat seeing it in color. But anyway, this just wanted, that's a 25-inch there. Giant screen. 25-inch would be like a, just a little one you'd carry in your car nowadays. So I just thought I'd throw in some additional things like this. You know, people complain about politics nowadays, you know, and the right and the left and all their, all their uh, fighting and bickering. But you know what? That's happened forever. As you can see this, even in 1972, well, that was, you know, a Watergate scandal. Um, Matthew Hargrave's Chevy is still there. not very far from me. So somebody has a 73 Nova hatchback and they want to see an old ad, there you go. That looks like a Pontiac Granville. Maybe a 72. I had a new heavy duty 60 month battery, $27.88. $50 off a set of four radials. Radials were kind of a new thing out in the early 70s. I got a couple of these. I actually just sold one. They're 99 bucks new. That's what I get for them. 100 bucks. So I'm selling these old 70 saws for what they cost brand new. All right, so the paper I got out of now from the box is Thursday, July 30th, 1970. And you can see a Hornet, 1879. This is where the Catalina sold new from, Packer Pontiac. So you could buy a brand spanking new 70 Catalina with air. That would have been equivalent to what I had. So that car in 1970 was $31.95. So the cat, my Catalina that I had would have been 10 years old there. It was a 60 Catalina that I had. So yeah, so this is Key Oldsmobile. Packer Pontiac is, I don't believe is there anymore, but Key Oldsmobile is still there. I don't think it's an Olds dealer anymore, but it's because they don't have old, Oldsmobiles in Orphan now. This Fiat. I had a friend in high school that had one of these. I think his was a 70 or 71. Jim Cosley's still there. I think they sell Chevrolet GMC now. So I just thought I'd throw this in. I think that somebody might be interested in it. And if you wanted to add AC to your car, they're in $29.95, installation available. And that would have been at a 
Uniroyal Center. And back in this era, station wagons ruled the road. So they start right here, down, they continue there, there, and there. I'll just take a couple looks here. 68 Ford Wagon, auto, power. 1495, any older car in trade in, free tow. Bob Ford. Let's see, 68 Ford Country Sedan, 289 automatic, beautiful maroon finish. Full price, $14.90, Star Kiki, West Grand and 7 Mile. 68 Ford Country Sedan, that's another one, $17.95. It must be a bigger engine or, well, it says power steering, power brakes, roof rack. 67 Ford Country Sedan, 10 passenger, power steering and brakes, $14.95. So here you go, Dave, if you want an old station wagon, there's plenty here to pick from. And uh, the phone numbers are in the ads. I doubt, you know, <laughs> phone numbers might, might not be any good, let alone the car still being there. My dad had a 66 country sedan, but I think it was a six passenger. His had a 289. This one has a 390 two barrel power steering, power brakes. That's when my mom started driving. My dad got the 66 Ford because it had power steering. The 59 Parkwood wagon did not have power steering, so my mom did not drive. I love these old ads. They're so cool. Dart Swinger, 1994. It says as low as, so that'd be probably your slant 6.3 on the tree. No heat, no radio, no nothing. Just four tires and a seat. Swinger two-door hard top. Deluxe seats. Free automatic trans. Big 225. AM radio. Vinyl roof. Deluxe wheel covers. Remote mirror. Carpets. Bumper guard. Moldings. Wheel up moldings. 16 by 15. Or 6.95 by 15. White sidewall tires. 24, 25, 73. There's an air-conditioned swinger with a 225, 2849. Brand new Polara, 2927 delivery. I think you guys can read the ad if you want to. I don't think Fernwood Dodge is there anymore. I think it's called uh, Ferndale Dodge now. 70 Torino two-door, 2149. New 70 Galaxy, 2989. Dean Sellers Ford is still there. Look at that big 70 Pontiac Catalina station wagon, a 70 Grand Prix, 3677. The wagon is 3347. The Catalina Hardtops, $28.75 at an Audette uh, Pontiac. Merola Chevrolet, this is where my Bel Air sold from new. So we're doing pretty good. We found where the Catalina sold new from, and now we found where the Bel Air sold from new. A brand new 70 Impala, $29.44. It says $350 vinyl roof air conditioning, G7815 belted tires, safety group, full factory equipment. Luxury and price only at Marolas. It's got air conditioning. No, 70 Nova, 1976. Brand new 70 Chevelle HT, 2288. Monte Carlo, on and on and on. That is where my 59, that car sold new from Marola Chevrolet. I'll just go through so you guys can kind of see what's clearance special. New 70 GTOs, never priced so low. They don't have any prices, they just want you to get into the dealership. So I just thought I'd just throw this in just, just for the heck of it. 
By the way, this is the Detroit Free Press, this paper too. I'm getting slacking off here. It's a 1970, July 1970 Detroit Free Press. Remember Kmart? When was the last time you've seen a Kmart? When was the last time you've seen a Bell and Howell movie projector, or Bell and Howell movie camera, or these really amazing outfits that people used to wear back in that era? There we go, a Kmart ad. And the last thing, I got these at a Salvation Army, so I'll just throw these in this video too. And they're brand new, never been out. They got the safety plug. Um, so they're all a transparent kind of looking. I'm just going to plug this one set in. But they all work. They're like what I gave my neighbor Lori that she had on her porch this last Christmas. But you know, it's got, sorry for wrapping the camera with a light bulb there. But, um, you know, if I ever need the wiring or the sockets, I have it. with 300 lights on is so pretty so nice this barbecue grill on the patio all covered in snow and waiting for a nice warm day Hit the like button if you enjoyed my video. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe and thank you for watching.